Hey everyone, Dino from Ampeg here. Okay, so you're probably wondering what I'm doing standing in my driveway with this A10 cab here. Well, in previous clinics that I've done, the discussion has come up amongst bass players about how easy or how hard it can be to move an A10 cab. So I figured what better video subject than to show you how to load an A10 cab into your van or your truck. So hopefully this video will give you some easy insight on how to properly move an A10 cab. So stick around. Okay, first thing I want to do, regardless of the fact that the new A10 cabs have skid rails on the back is, I want to put something over my tailgate to protect my tailgate and also to protect the back of my A10 cab. So I'm going to use this blanket and I'm just going to drape it over the tailgate so that when I go to slide my A10 cab on, it doesn't scratch up my tailgate or scratch up, like I said, the back of the A10 cab. Okay, so now we're ready to load the cabinet in the back of the van. So with the back of the cabinet facing the back of the van, in other words, skid rails down, I'm just going to back it up to the tailgate, like so, okay? Now this is real important. I don't claim to be a doctor or a chiropractor or anything like that, but I've moved enough of these cabinets in my time to realize what will hurt my back and what won't hurt my back. The most important thing is when you do this next move, you want to lift from your knees, not from your back, okay? So the easiest thing to do now at this point is I'm going to tilt the cabinet back just like so. And I'm actually kind of blocking the bottom with my leg. Okay. Now I'm going to bend down with my knees and I'm just going to lift the cabinet in like a gurney like that and slide it in. It's that simple. In some cases we don't have a vehicle that we have that much room that we can lay our 810 cab on its back like I showed you. So in some cases we might need to load it on its side. Now this is where the blanket or the towel or the rug over the tailgate really comes important so as to not scratch up this beautiful Tolex. But the principle is still the same. We're going to lean the cabinet on the tailgate and slide it in. So check it out. And again, we use our legs, not our back. You simply just slide the cabinet in like so. Now we've got all this open space for extra gear, your drummer's drum kit, whatever else you want to put in here. Okay, so I realize we're still in my driveway here, but let's just pretend we're at the gig and we're ready to offload the A10 cab. The procedure is just the opposite. I simply just pick it up like this, slide it to the tailgate, and again, using my legs, not my back, I'm gonna pull it out and let gravity do the rest of the work for me. Once it's down like that, I block it with my leg, and I just stand it right back up again. Okay, now, how easy was that? Contrary to what a lot of people think, moving an A10 cab or loading an A10 cab isn't as bad as a lot of people think it is. So, a couple of things to remember. Most importantly, no matter what you do, whether you're trying to lift an A10 cab or lifting your base case off the floor, lift with your legs, not with your back. I've moved enough of these guys in my time that I realize lifting with your back will only cause you injury. Number two, do not try and lift an A10 cab deadlift by yourself. If you do have to physically lift it, it's a two-person lift. So get your drummer or a bandmate or your roadie. Oh, wait a second. If you've got a roadie, you shouldn't be lifting any gear anyways. But anyways, it's a two-person lift. Don't try and lift this by yourself. Get some help if you physically have to lift it up something. Okay? So that's it for me, guys. My name's Dino Minoxilis. Like I always say, play more bass. Mm -hmm.